Hey guys, what is going on? It's Bean Dog here. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the new release of the Xbox One S, which I believe was officially released a couple days ago. And uh, I'm basically going to be talking about the new things with it and whether you should or shouldn't buy it. Um, so let's just jump straight into this. So I'm on a Microsoft's main website right now. So the Xbox One S was released on August 2nd, so four days ago. Uh, on the date of recording, um, it launched for f uh, four hundred dollars for a two terabyte uh, edition. Now, two terabytes, if you didn't know, is around two thousand gigs, and so that's that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of space. That's like quadruple what my Xbox is. I have the original five hundred gig one. Um, so it states that it supports four K uh, HD streaming of like movies and stuff. And it also states as HDR. Now, the only issue with this is 4K does not mean you can game in 4K. Um, basically, f uh, it's saying 4K Ultra HD for like watching movies and stuff. So, if you're watching a movie or something and you have a 4K TV, it supports that. If you're watching Netflix or whatever, you can watch in 4K, which is very cool. Although, it is kind of tricking a lot of people into thinking that uh, you can game in 4K, which is not true. Now it also states it does have HDR. Um, this is a very cool feature. It makes the images look sharper and pop out more, which is very cool for games. Although, the only downside to it is right now, I don't think any games uh, support HDR. So, you know, it has the feature, but none of the games are there yet. Although, um, Forza Horizon 3 is coming out, and it states that it will support HDR, so that'll be cool. Like I said, HDR, you're probably not going to be able to uh, use it that much right now, but you will. Uh, just give it a couple months as more games come out. Now, one key feature is it is 40% smaller. Now, that's actually a very big difference. I now, 40%, while it doesn't, it may not seem like it, I mean, that's almost like half the size, which is crazy because it also has an internal power supply, which that's my next point. Um, a lot of people's issue with the current Xbox is the power supply is just massive. Uh, it's not inside, so it's just on this giant cord on your floor, and it just kind of looks ugly. So they actually did uh, integrate it inside the Xbox uh, with the new one. So that's a very cool feature that many people are waiting for. Um, in my opinion, too, the Xbox One S just looks a lot more clean. Uh, it just looks a lot better than the Xbox right now. Uh, the vents and stuff. The I like the golf ball kind of feel. Yeah, it just looks a lot cleaner. Um, here I can go up to a picture. It just looks looks a lot better than their original Xbox. It actually also has a push like button, like an actual power button right here that you can push. Um, that if you didn't know, the Xbox right now just has a kind of like a touch. It's not an actual button. One downside is uh, it does not have a port for your Kinect. Um, which may be a downside to a lot of people who like using the Kinect. There is a way around it. You can buy a little adapter, I believe, for not that expensive, but it's still kind of annoying how it's not included. Um, I also believe it does not come with an Xbox headset, which is uh, also a downside for some people. Not all, because most people have headsets by now. But for some people just getting into gaming, they're not going to have a headset until they uh, obviously buy one. But it's just kind of a downside. It doesn't come with one. Kind of disappointing. Also, uh, the Xbox One controller got a few upgrades. Um, it just It's a white controller now, although you can design your own on Design Labs, or you can probably buy a black one. But I've heard the back of the controller has a new feel. Yeah, textured grip right here. You can kind of see it. So I've, I have held the controller, and it, it feels good. Um, it also has Bluetooth, so you can use this for your PC, which intrigues a lot of people. Uh, because, you know, Microsoft also owns Windows, which is what a lot of PCs run. And then it also just has an increased range. Not a lot of people care about that, because how far could you possibly be sitting from your TV or Xbox? One very cool feature about this is you can now stand it vertical, and it actually comes with the stand if you buy the 2 terabyte one, which is very cool, because you cannot store the, uh, the Xbox right now vertical. But a lot of people like that feature just because it saves space. And I don't know why they didn't add that in the original one, but they didn't. And it's a new feature, so that is very cool. So, on to the main question. If you already own an Xbox One, 
should you upgrade? My opinion is that you should not upgrade. Uh, you should probably wait as Microsoft announced officially at E3 they're going to be releasing the Xbox Scorpio and we don't know a real date but it does say that the Scorpio will report 4K gaming um, and it's just going to be a lot more powerful and stuff. Uh, I doubt, I don't think it's going to take too much longer. So if you currently have an Xbox, I would not recommend uh, upgrading. If you are a big movie or TV person, you really want to have the best image quality. It might be uh, something you might want to look at because it does support 4K video. And so, you know, if you're, if you're really into movies, but even that's a little bit steep. It is $400 that you can get the Xbox right now for like 250 It's almost double the price of the original Xbox you can find right now. Um, and I don't think there's a lot of key features that really like would make would make you feel the need to upgrade. Um, if you're intrigued by the controller, you can always just order one. It works with the old Xboxes. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like right now, if you already own an Xbox, don't upgrade. Um, that's just my opinion. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. Uh, if you don't have an Xbox, definitely get this. It's obviously better. Uh, it supports 4K. It's just more powerful, more space, smaller. It looks better. If you don't have an Xbox, I would go with this one. But I feel like if you do have an Xbox, definitely don't upgrade, in my opinion. Um, it's just not worth it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, could you please leave a like? Also drop a sub for more content. I'd really appreciate it. But that's pretty much going to do it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'm 